All right, so let's look at this next one. Usual starting point, grievance saturation. All right, so I'm seeing six degrees of unsaturation. As soon as we get over four, I'm gonna start thinking about an aromatic ring. And those protons on those benzene rings come between seven and nine, and that's what I'm, I'm seeing here. I'm seeing some protons in that region, so that's a good indication that we could have a, uh, a benzene in there. Could also think, though, about an alkene. We also have this sharp singlet right near 10. And a sharp singlet near 10 is very likely to be an aldehyde proton. So that takes care of another degree of unsaturation. Then I've got another one to think about. So that's four DUs. There's our one du, and we'll still have one more to bring it up to the six to figure it out. Don't know what that's going to be yet, though. Okay, so let's copy out the information we have. So there's that at around 7.8. We're told the integration here, so there's 1H, 2, 2, 2, 2. So singlet, no non-equivalent proton neighbors nearby. Each of those aromatic protons is a doublet. And remember, that's a very characteristic pattern of having a para-disubstituted benzene ring. Because those protons will integrate for two and they're next to two other protons which makes each of them a doublet and then in here with two protons it could be two um, equivalent chemically equivalent CHs could also be a CH2 and what was that multiplicity? Triplets. So triplets with N equals 2. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of this figured out. Um, we are still missing, so let's count it up and compare it to the formula. So we have six seven eight nine we need one more carbon atom we need one more oxygen atom we need the chlorine there's only one way to have that and we need another degree of unsaturation so quite likely that it's going to be a carbonyl we could maybe think about something like an epoxide as well or another kind of a ring possibly okay so let's start um, trying to put some of those pieces together so if we have that aromatic ring and maybe the aldehyde comes off of that. And then maybe I do something like that's one way I could fit all those pieces together. Another way that people have done in the past and also fits um, the data pretty well. It's just a slight variation on the organization of those fragments. So it's the carbonyl next to the benzene ring. And then finish off uh, with a chlorine. Now the only thing with the with that chloride right next to the CH2 is that this would really be, you know, not in the early range of that three to five range where we find groups near Cl, especially because it's a carbonyl nearby. Probably that's going to be more, these protons would be more near four. Um, but still, it fits, I mean, it fits the data fairly well. Um, so both would be accepted, even though the real answer was the one on the right.